There's another Lethian somewhere in here. Uh, do you fuckers mind? I'm trying to investigate. What's going on everyone? This is your boy Mickey J. Shanks, the long-haired loudmouth, and welcome back to the Sinking City. Now, when last we left Charles Reed, um, he had just started to piece together what had happened to a couple of infected patients um, that the doc for the uh, doctor of the hospital. Now, it's a side quest of sorts, I know, compared to the main story of trying to find Professor Harriet Doe, but I figured that if we wrap up these little loose ends, it might close the net on Har finding Harriet Doe in one go. So, hopefully, things should be a bit more fluid if I can wrap these up. Now, yeah, my health's looking a bit iffy, so I'll just quickly adjust that there we go northern salvation harbour mall and road between higgs lane and benevolent tides road so i'm not far out so i'm gonna have to double back a bit and get back to the hospital so to do that Quickly head back this way. So there's obviously that to deal with. So we're going to head back to the hospital and see if we can get some more information from the good doctors. Right, da, 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 I'm back at St Mary's Hospital, or at least close enough to it. See, that's the weird thing about sandbox games. You can always go to various different locations at your, pl at your leisure and there's no real time limit. Unfortunately, just trying to get through everywhere it's a bit of a pain. So, let's see what the good doctor has to say. I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethian revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethian revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. I called into the shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. No, oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. But it wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian harvesters. But uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. I tried to stay away because of stimulants. Those Stygians appeared near when I slept. As I called them, they nightmares. Hmm, a psychic phenomenon or manifestation. How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. I found your studies rather interesting, Dr. Grant. Got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities, but I'll prepare a comparable reward. Just what am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood. There. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature get in? Oh, what about the place with more management creatures? 
<laughs> There's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. The police found nothing. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping mouths. He was at the restaurant too, I suppose. Indeed. And what's curious is the place is still open. Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Okay, that's all useful. I got fair, um, whoa, a fairly huge amount of uh, ammunition and stock from him. So that's kind of nice, including some antipsychotics. So there's always a good sign. I wonder if I can use them for anything. Let's see. First aid kit's obviously good. Skills now, not wrong points. Right. So that was something of a dead end. Have to try the case book and see what I can find. Disturbing dreams may be the result of the helmet infestation. Oh, parasites. Ooh. Nice. So at least I have a, have at least a temporary medicine to deal with them. Gins and lethians. Very useful. So bestiary is always good. So Let's see. Good pro quo. Da, 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 Professor Harriet Doe. I need to go back to the Devil's Teeth and see if I can find. Look again on that. information about the men who attacked the expedition so that might ah, so pinning evidence might help me find it quicker so let's see what we can accomplish by heading back this way Ourselves, just in case. Ah, so pinning evidence might be a bit easier to make it a little easier to track. So it saves me having to dart around all the pl over the, all over the place. At least in theory. So far, my brain has been a little bit exhausted about the whole thing. So, let's see. Look for your sins. Answer. Need to look around. Find something here that could be of any use. So I have a mad preacher trying to deal to deal out a sermon. Not any use to me at this point. 
point. Although, up here is pretty useful if I can. There's only some way of getting around a bit. So I've looked on the internet for a brief moment and try now I've realized that I'm to track Harriet Dow I need to find out that something about the murder that I found underneath in the devil's teeth so eventually one's brain exhausts most options so let's head back to the police department and see if they have anywhere to go so I had the right idea initially by going to the police department before, I just didn't see, managed to sift through the archives enough. But, on the plus side, I got a hell of a lot of supplies for doing the side missions for the Doctor, so... You know, on a game like this, uh, side missions are always useful, because it means that you can actually... ...make it through better. I still find it odd that the police department is armed with harpoons at its front door. But, uh, I digress. Sometimes, when you're desperate for security, I suppose you have to do what you can. So. The only problem is I have to deal with that grumpy police captain. Still a mardy bastard that he is. Never mind. Let's just dig through the archives. So, crimes, violent crimes, it's instruments of crime, read heights. Instruments of crime. Here we go. Police report number 190451. At about 10.30 p.m. April 15th at the Fish Market, Eastern Shells, corner of Orchard Avenue and Holy Fire Lane. Uh, I apprehended a suspicious looking Innsmouther as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect had in his possession a particular golden amulet which resembled a fish eye and as well as a dagger. The suspect resisted arrest. When I tried to cuff him, he cried for help, screaming for his brothers from EOD. Several other armed Innsmouthers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release said Innsmouther and retreat. The suspect got away pending further investigation. Lieutenant Phelps. Hmm. Well, at least I know where to go now. I have a lead. And that lead takes me back to the shells. So. I don't know what she's weeping about. Must be succumbing to the madness the same as most of the other residents of this town. Oh well. Into the shells we go, and back to the fish market. Ba -ba -da -ba. Right, let's just double check the police report and see if they give me an address. We go, corner of Orchard and Holy Fire Lane. Okay. Orchard, Orchard and Holy Fire Lane. So, about here. Orchard, 
Orchard and Holy Fire Lane. So, best arm myself just in case anybody wants to kill me, which, let's face it, is a distinct possibility. Although. No, he's just fishing. Oh, for those of you who missed the first video, I should probably explain. The Innsmouthers are a group of people who have uh, a bit of a history with the Throgmorton family. Um, in the sense that they don't like them for some strange reason, which is... eludes me. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. Orchard. Holy fire. So, somewhere in this... Ah. Okay. Somewhere in the corner of Orchard and Holy Fire Lane. In the fish market. There's got to be the... The Innsmouthers. Okay, Varys, you're losing your fucking marbles a bit. Someone who appears to be trying to portray Lord Varys in a, in a Game of Thrones play by the look of it, but let's see what he does. I guess this scene wouldn't be complete without a doomsday prophet. Let me assure you, I anything but. I am called Ebernote Blackwood, and this is the place I have chosen to share my message. Please. Come to one of my full servants. Uh, Charles Reed, good to meet you. Blackwood, you're a member of the Grand Family. I am indeed the last of that line. Inheritor of an empty mansion. Right. I'll see you around. <laughs> so Blackwood's got something on under his Blackwood's got something under his skin. Ah, I'm not in the mood, newcomer. If you want to talk, see Anna. She's in charge here. Anna? Ah. Fish? Fresh fish? Take I'm as much the... as you need. It won't cost you a penny. I'm not, not in the mood for fish. Leave enough for everyone. I'm not in the mood fish? for fish. Fresh fish? Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. Leave enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles <laughs> Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. Okay. What is the EOD? I mean... What, what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. <laughs> Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. It's been great chatting with you. I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? 
<laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, John. What does EOD stand for? Everyone's obvious duty. When we began, it also had is to help each other. But we dropped that part. It was a little bit worrying. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. Never since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Fine. Tell me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the sea, and he'll let you into the storeroom. See you later. So... The EOD means everyone's obvious duty. Okay... I want is starving. EOD is giving away fish. So the EOD is helping to prevent famine. Hmm. At least what they said. That's what they're saying publicly. Still doesn't explain why the inn's mouth is. So unless he's using them as a front, but. Uh, we need to get inside the EOD and find out if they're in any good or whether they're hiding something. Which, let's face it, organizations like this tend to hide things. So, let's try and think, find out what they're hiding. Walking Lane between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Walking Lane, One Road, Liberty Road. So, da da. Pop you there. Luckily, I picked up a fast travel point right nearby. So, this should make things a so, so easy. Right. Now. Uh, of course the fish the fish storage room would be in an infested area. I suppose Aha Here we go. So let's talk to this guy. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. I <sighs> see be praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Two things. Can you tell me what happened? And don't skimp on the details. Mm, not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, not much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs. Tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. <laughs> Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away that day, but I wonder why steal what you can get for free. Yeah, that's a little puzzler. What did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. 
What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. An average Joe. If not for his uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. Way f you're way fatter than him, I suppose, but anyway. What's the deal with the, the password and such? Ordered from the higher-ups. I don't get to ask why. Alright, well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, yeah, take the key. May the sea bless you. Hmm. So let's just have a look inside the fish storage. See if we can identify the thief. Usually, when. Th What's this? Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. So, the EOD can arm themselves with harpoons. Not a nice thing to know in the event of having to fight these bastards. Yeah, well, let's see what else they've got. Cartridges. Not much with that shotgun, so let's have a look at the fish. All's fresh, still smells at the sea. No sounds of decomposition at all. Hmm. Let's check over here. Gunpowder shell casings and metal scraps. All right. Usually with things like this, there's more than one level. So let's go up top first. Smashed glass. Usually means there was a so sign of entry. But why? What? Oh, hello. Ship pieces. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Yeah. Model ships. Letter from the orphanage. Dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children. In these dark times, your toys go down like a tall glass of water. We pray for your good health every day. We also kind of remind you that we still await your visit. Now all our staff, and of course the children, are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate, and come as soon as you're able with eternal gratitude. A administration of Oakmont St. Jerome's Orphanage. Hmm... It doesn't seem anything untoward as of yet. Nothing in the roof, so next likely thing to place to check would be the basement. Okay. Lithians. Oh shit, there's more than one. There's another Lithian somewhere in here. Uh, do you fuckers mind? I'm trying to investigate. At least I have a name for the damn things now. What's this? Things dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. 
Oh, hello. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. And that's troubling. Yes. Oh, gunpowder. Oh, octopus. Where are you going? What's here? Oh, hello. Ah, rotten fish. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. There's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. Powder. A lab flask. Hmm. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. So Grimes chased the thief. Okay. What else have we got? I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Somebody poisoned the fish. He knocked over the fish. He was trying to poison them. The noise woke Grimes and he chased after him. Darn pests. Mary, take them. Okay. Let's see what we have here. So that knocked off. So he knew about it. Darn pests! May I take them? So somebody w woke him up. And so he chased the thief. Come back, you thief! I'll show you not to mess with us. A man broke into the fish storage, poisoned the fish with an unknown substance, and made a noise which alerted the guard who chased him out. So the EOD are... Ah. Did the EOD even know that fish supply is poisoned? Hmm. The man who broke into the EOD fish storage is somehow connected to the university. Professor Westbrook. Right, so I'm going to need to take a trip back to the university and to Stitch Lips, as it's called. I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish by the sea. 
Are you sure? Well, if that's what the evidence suggests. Okay, this is horrible. Please don't tell her that was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Anna, we'll quarter you. You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, the OD member or not. That's unexpected. Huh. Well, nothing personal there. But I need to tell Anna the truth. Okay. All those people might suffer because I. because I. Do what you must, Mr. Reed. If it's that bad, maybe you should skip town, hide somewhere. You don't understand, Mr. Reed. You can't hide from your own conscience. Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer. Except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Keep me or not. There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. See ya. May the sea protect you. Right. I need to head back to the Oakmont University. But first I need to go back to finding Anna. And telling her about this fact that her fish is poisoned. Excuse me. <laughs> One of the uh, unhealthy benefits or disadvantages, I should say, of drinking uh, no sugar Pepsi is sometimes the gas can come back to haunt you. Right, so we're back at the fish market. Now I'm just going to quickly reveal my findings to Anna, see if she know, so she doesn't do anything stupid like selling all the fish. As much as you need, it won't cost you a penny. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. As I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Who knows how many people might already be affected. Any theories on who might have done this? Any enemies? <laughs> the EOD has a lot of enemies. Wicked people that want to burn this city or drown it in blood. It could be anyone. It could be the police, the Ku Klux Klan, see, so take them. Or even the Throgmortons. We were always a thorn in the side of those apes. What do you want me to do with the poison ones I find them? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome. If you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? The guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poison had knocked him out. You ask me, he deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye, Charlie. See you later.
Right, so I managed to blab my way through that without having I mean, it's anything too stupid to deal with. So I'm going to call it at that and pick up this lead on a, a new, on the next video. So thank you so much for watching this one. If you like what you saw, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. The channel is Mickey J Shanks, of course. Uh, any feedback is welcome in the comments below. Uh, if you like what you saw, or, or even if you didn't, just you know, any sort of feedback would be grateful at this point. And I will pick up this little trail in the next video I do as we delve further into the mysteries around the sinking city of Oakmont, Massachusetts. Laters!